Uh, for the people who don't know, maybe Grissy Grissy is the one person who formed Team Goda out of nothing and made it what it is today. And I really want to heartily welcome you here. Thank you. So, I mean... So proper. So proper, yeah. Now let's let's <laughs> go. So short. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, you you lost now 4-1 to Arcare, and what's going on with you guys? What's your best, or, I mean, tell me something, tell me something, I believe in you. <laughs> well, first I want to congratulate Arkea. They played actually really, really well, like, amazingly. But, uh, sorry to say, this is not our best, like, it was uh, clear that our team was a little bit nervous. And we could not bring like our best play, and doing some mistakes, and that cost us the games. Do you think that choosing green for your logo had anything to do with this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I don't know why green was selected. I think yeah, I was said. <laughs> I think green is squadar, and it was decided. Actually, if someone knows the link, just put it in the chat. It was just pretty funny. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was really. I, I wanted to. I heard about the match. Okay, I can maybe shortly explain about the match. I was trying to put up this uh, uh, some some picture like this one. I, I know Akira had a logo like um, you see on the left, and there was no logo for Godar. I was asking Menders, "Is there a logo?" And he said every time, "No." Until he was so annoyed by me, and he said, "Just put a G in Comic Sans." <laughs> we actually have a uh, logo in the making; it's just not ready yet. But I was so surprised seeing that green G logo. I, I was <laughs> not really happy about it, to be honest. <laughs> oh, it's just epic! I love it. Okay, I'm um, uh, talking a little bit about the games. I mean, you alien games. Um, what I think I've seen a lot. What is pretty unusual to you is that you. Or the marine games, not the marine games. Did you were at one point? I mean, with the late phase game, or just in general, you were scattered around. You lost many one v ones, or got picked off by lonely skulks, which was completely unusual to me. How did that happen? Um, on the respawning waves, you just were a lot alone in the field. Was this actually this kind? Of, is this kind of distribution? Was this kind of normal? Like having more splits to actually hit at most targets as possible at the same time, or was this a um, more random process which wasn't control? Or I, I don't know. In the marine rounds, like we usually started pretty well, but uh, as the pressure like grew in the game, we kind of like it's just just lack of confidence. We started to do silly mistakes, poor positioning. Our aim wasn't good enough at times, and and we just couldn't yeah play our A game. That's basically it. So we started to go one and one, get picked up by solar scouts, which is pretty bad. And like little by little, that gave Arkea the advantage. Like in both uh, marine rounds, we got the really good beginnings. Yeah. Uh, at least in especially yeah. in the summit round. But uh, then we did some hasty decisions, like attacking reactor core when we had an ambush ready, and we even knew about that ambush that was behind, but we still went in. And we should have just waited, wasted their times, and engaged them, and like forced them to engage us in better position. So a lot of little things like that just built up over time, and that cost us the games. Yeah, and we were noticing. I think we, I think Blind commented as as well that throughout watching that, it was it wasn't like you know one big engagement loss that cost um, the game or or led to where it was going. It was it was um, losing a lot of. It was all the little engagements that were summing up to. You know the momentum being lost, or the game turning into Arkea's favor. So um, unfortunate that 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 happened. Obviously. I also just put two more people here in the chat, which are Fana and Scrime from Arkea. Hell yeah! Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I, I don't want to put it out quite anywhere. It's kind of obvious that it might feel a little bit, just a little bit slightly happy about the result as it turned out. So, I have uh, a more I'm serious really question. Depressed. Yeah, you're really We depressed. totally lost around <laughs> that. That makes me so depressed. I'm uh, crying. I'm, I'm sitting there just crying. Don't get me started, Fana. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate losing one single round. In that veil well round, as soon yeah. as I saw you build the power and oh look, I knew we were going for the shotgun rush. Nostradamus Grissi. Congratulations. Well, really? <laughs> that's that's, that's uh, why I didn't manage to prepare for it. 
but I, it was it surprised me how close it was. I thought we would be able to take you down pretty easily, but five shotguns proved pretty powerful, even with three cracks. Uh, well, the thing is, we would have taken it. Actually, we were in the process of winning it, but then, fucking, uh, it was me and somebody else. I don't know what it was, but we just completely failed with the shock in uh, aim, and we had two marines in there who died to one skulk. Uh, we had egglock, and just one skulk killed two uh, shock and marines, and uh, oh, we had to. That refresh. was me. You uh, guys well, were well done. But fucking hell, that was that, that was just oh, we would have had your that if we didn't have that terrible aim in that situation. It's where also your position. You were like in a straight line, so I yeah. could use you guys as cover. Yeah, but and we were too close to the I have, to the wall uh, as well. I, I should compliment you. I think that was an excellent, excellent defense you had. To be honest, though, yes. with, the, with the it was like uh, I, I was quite banking on that you would screw up, basically. Um, because I thought, like, these guys will never, ever expect Arkea to do such a thing. <laughs> I didn't! So let's do it. I didn't, let's at do least. It. <laughs> it was... I mean, come, come on, you guys always sc scream at me or other people for doing cheese or rushes like that. And now yeah, you... I hate cheeses. Yeah. I hate rushes. It's so Oh, oh I love me some good cheese. <laughs> and, no, um... Don't fucking knock cheese. I love me some good cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it would be fun trying something out. Yeah, um, it was pretty nice. Like... I knew there was something happening because you guys were not pressuring hard on the op opposite side, and that's unusual because you guys are usually pretty predictable in your play. Yeah, so Ooh. I like to do the same thing over and over and over and over. Predictable is one way of putting it. Solid is <laughs> yeah, another like, way of putting it. You, you play it. you play it really well, but usually you know pretty much where you're going to put the marines and how you're going to play. That's but, a good point. I was also wondering you why do you it. sent those marines to overlook the whole time early on. We were trying to keep the eggs down. Yeah, uh, of course, we wanted to keep them on as low eggs as possible, so that when we actually get in there, we don't have to kill as many eggs before we get the egg lock. So, um, yeah. But yeah, um, and Godard did well. They got the crag stuff, which is what they needed to do. Um, and when they managed to clear that first push, um, they uh, they managed to get the hive up to enough health with the gorge and the crags that we weren't able to get it with the second push. Um, <laughs> But it's it's honestly though I blame I blame ourselves for losing that because two marines with shotguns should not die to solo skulk. That's just no good, and it's my yeah. own fault. So oh no, when they when that second push came in there and, and I mean it was an all in by you guys. Um, all of uh, all of Godar was waiting for you guys to run in, and once the pack pounced, um, uh, the end you know the drifter came up and enzymed everybody, and quickly we just started seeing. Arcade yeah. dropping left and right. We you didn't actually like, oh see what, uh, what happened there, though. <laughs> Scrime decided to jump out of the CC, so we had six so. screens inside yes, there. Yes. The problem is, both me and Skugan were out of ammo. I had two bullets oh. off my shotgun, <laughs> Skugan had zero. <laughs> so we actually, during the push, we both didn't have any ammo to shoot with. We well, were just standing there looking at the skulls, going, okay. That's a okay. bad. That's a bad excuse, Fana. You're an Arcade Marine. You should use your axe. Got that. <laughs> Fair points. Okay, I didn't know that for sure, but yeah, it was well, I mean, pretty the, amazing the, to watch. Yeah, the reason we went for it is because Vale is a very alien biased map, and when you get a cargo spawn or a sub spawn as aliens, it's just you know you are going to win that round nine out of ten times, maybe even more than that. So we decided, okay, we're not going to play that game, we're just going to try something else. It almost worked. Um, so I guess I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, because go to, go to so even gameplay on Veil when we practice them, you know, actually very solid. It feels like whatever I'm doing, they just counter it, usually by mass expanding with rest nodes, and uh, I, I, I can't fight that. Yeah, like the Triton Tram, but there was a different situation there. Oh, yeah, but on Summit on Tram, it's yeah. not as easy, because the map the map is much smaller, so you can do double pressure and stuff like that. Well, okay. Tram, it also has problems. If you get a server in spawn oh, yeah. or a warehouse spawn, you can still mass expand. It's really hard to do anything as Marines. But yep. uh, Summit, that's a different story, because Summit is pretty... It has balanced spawn positions, so you can't really just abuse that. And that's why we <laughs> like to play Summit, obviously, because it's a fairly equal map for Marines and Aliens. Okay, I want to still leave some topics left over to debate tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow yeah. is going to oh. be... Yeah. Well, we haven't really done any interviews here. We've just been fucking talking about the... Well, <laughs> me and Scrum have been whining, basically. I don't even know why we're whining. <laughs> well, are we, are we I, whining? I'm not sure. No, I, I'm I always know... raging. I want to know, um, so Fana, was that a new strategy on Summit with the two armories being dropped? <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. I was like, okay, I'm going to jump into the CC. Everything is cool. I'm going to drop some IPs. And then I dropped it. And I was like, yeah, drop one IP. I'm going to drop a second IP. And then, oh, fuck, I dropped an armory. 
But I still thought I dropped one IP. So I actually just jumped out and I was going to build the IP. And then I look at the fucking thing. I was like, oh, shit, there's there's two armories. What the hell happened? <laughs> and I, I yeah. just give up and the Eagle jumps in and he fixes things. And I was actually yeah, wondering, Eagle, I think uh... Eagle built the second armory. He saw an armory in front yeah, he just dropped two more armories and he was so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> he just saw it and then stopped and then looked at it. And it probably was <laughs> banging on the outside of the CC saying, get out, Panna, get out. <laughs> Yeah, this is why I do not command. This is why I'm in the field shooting things. Because I do not apparently know the difference between an armory icon and an IP icon. Oh, that's quite sad, actually. Alright, so I'm gonna close it right now because uh, we are also going for other stuff. And yeah, I really enjoyed that final. So, taking up the crown again, I mean, do you have so many titles already? Um, how yeah, no, how you long? Can never enough. You can never... Fucking take it from me, you can never have enough titles. Every title how is proud amazing. Are you? How, pr how proud are you, Scram? Do you have like a smile going from e either ear right now? Scram never smiles. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I, don't, smile. I don't smile. I'm already looking at season 3. Mm. With or without Anna? Uh, Tane? Uh, what, am I leaving too? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I mean, just, just, just a question, this, actually this, the question uh, I had, just one question I had is like, how long do you think we'll keep the title? To keep the title? Yeah, for season two? For, well, for actually, actually, Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to keep this title forever. There is... No there, one we just want it, nobody can take that <laughs> from us. No one can no. win season two again. Nope. <laughs> yeah, the season two, come on. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Yeah, but the thing is, we... I have been waiting for somebody to push us off the top for a long time. No, I actually expected us to get a uh, tougher opposition a lot earlier. I mean, uh, when we'd gone half a year and we were still winning things, I was like, wow, this is pretty good. Uh, and we're still going, and that's amazing. Uh, but sooner or later, somebody is going to get together uh, a team that will be able to uh, contend with us consistently. It hasn't happened yet. It will happen sooner or later. Um, but it, it, it always happens. I've played this game for 10 years, if you count NS1, and these sort of these sort of dynasties with one team just holding the top, they go on for a while, and then something happens, either there's some sort of uh, disorganization within the team, people quit, whatever, and then some other team starts getting good, and then, oof, suddenly, before you know it, I mean, you may not even notice it coming, but suddenly, boof, it's over. It will happen sooner than later. I just wanted to ask <laughs> you, when do you think you'll be back here in the official? Grissy, never, how long? Never. Oh. Sorry, can you be? When when will you beat here? In the uh, next tournament. In the next you tournament. Beat them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take that on. All right. <laughs> Scram just left. So I, I have I have one more question. Uh, actually, going back to what we were just talking about. Um, throughout the time here, um, have I mean you've seen over time teams getting better and better and better. Um, have you seen been seeing more um, more teams getting better faster lately as they're screaming you as you're as you're playing them? And you know, does that give you any cause of concern? Oh, um, you want to take the phone? Yeah, no, no, not lately. Um, the, the problem is we are coming up on summer vacation now with the dreaded summer inactivity, which is it's it happens every year. It's like clockwork. Um, and uh, lately, it's been pretty inactive. There's not a lot of teams practicing, especially not good teams. Uh, we've been having a lot of trouble finding teams to practice against, actually. And we are also going to go on a break soon. Um, so right now, I'm not worried at all. But the thing is, uh, once summer ends, there's going to be a lot of new teams forming, a lot of teams disappearing, and the t uh, things will look different. Uh, and then, well, then I might worry. Because, I, well, I might worry now because I have no idea what's going to happen. But... Generally, though, um, the thing, the reason we have been able to stay on the top for two seasons now, uh, fall season and spring season, is because we have a very consistent group of people who enjoy playing together, who are very good at this game, and as long as we can keep these guys together playing, I think we are going to keep um, doing well. How well, I don't know, but I enjoy playing with these guys, and we'll see how it turns out. All right. Some kind of words here with both teams. I thank you both, and also congratulations for both of you, actually. I mean, Godor also placed second completely. I mean, they, it's not like they completely lost. They went a long, long way, and being pretty close here to you, and actually delivering that good, um, so many good matches, which we all enjoyed. Actually, I had m more than 400 viewers watching you guys fight it out, so it was pretty great. Um, That's not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. I mean, that was just great. Um, and also congratulations for you taking yet another title and 
I'm just gonna wait when it stops. I'm gonna wait for the yeah. I'm counting uh, down. I just wanna say before you before you end it, I just wanna say thank you to you guys for casting this stuff. That's awesome. I wanna say thank you to everybody in ENSL, the admins, the referees, etc., who uh, are doing all the work to make this stuff happen. Thanks, guys. Right, of course, also thanks to all the people watching here. Um, gonna close the stream right now. Be sure tomorrow at the same time, 21 Central European Summertime, which is 12 PDT, 15 EDT. Um, it's gonna be NS2 Showtime, the next episode it's gonna live. Be sexy. That's gonna be sexy. More fun as crime action. And also B1, of course, and special guest and some topics there. We're gonna show you tomorrow here live on the stream. And Saturday also um, State of the Game by Wasabi, Red Dog, Brussel and Bidey on the official NS2 channel. Might wanna check that out as well. More finals and semis coming up. Um, keep following Twitter um, NSL at NSL News um, to be updated or check nsl.ensl.org for more updates. And yeah, that's gonna be it. So thanks everyone for watching. Thanks Red Dog, of course. Man, I almost forgot you there for being here. I enjoyed it so much with you. Thanks, man. Thanks for for having me. It's been a blast. Yeah, and if you want to follow Red Dog on this side on the right of his um, webcam, you'll see where you can follow him. YouTube. Um, Twitch or Twitter, go ahead, check that one out. Same goes for my side. And yeah, that's it. So enjoy the evening. Thanks for being here. That's it. Bye now.